Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Encore events. These recently replaced our regional events. So we're going to go in here, take a look at this, give you my thoughts. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts as well. So let's go ahead and dive into it. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So let's just go ahead and take a look at these. So these Encore events replaced our regional events. There's regional event format that we really, really love. They took it away. They replaced it with another regional event format that just didn't hit the mark. And it made a lot of people unhappy. Uh, it just, it wasn't as good as what we previously had. So they scrapped that idea. They threw regional events away altogether. And now we have Encore events. Um... The way that these, the way that this event is put together is to pair up an epic and a legendary and allow you to kind of collect some of those older tunes as well as some of the newer tunes. So you'll see that as well. But um, I think it's better than the last regional event format that we had, but it's not as good as what we had before. And I think we're just all, I think me, I'm just gonna talk about me. I think I'm just spoiled with, with, with that previous format because we got a lot of stuff. We had a lot of options. And maybe that's why it was taken away. Maybe it was just giving away too much stuff. But it was a really good format. And they're trying to find another format. So that's what we have with these Encore events. You're going to jump in here. You've got 192 stars to earn for three different campaigns, starter, main, and bonus. And um, it starts out, I mean, I mean, they're pretty simple battles, right? Um, I think one thing that was a challenge was, even though this is starter, a lot of new players don't have these tunes that were required in here. So it was cool that they gave everybody at least a free unlock for that so they can go ahead and jump in here so all the new players could. I thought that was pretty cool. The rewards that you get are okay. I think there are some things that are missing. I know we can get some secret stuff in here, but it takes a lot of secret stuff to tune up your tunes. So with the amount that we get in here, it just doesn't really, it doesn't allow us to do much. Maybe get one tune up one level, if that, if we get most of it. So, um, also, it's kind of an event format that we've seen before where um, as you're working through it, right? I mean, so this one right here, you, you can bring any tune. Then it starts to narrow it down a little bit. Four-star tunes only for featured event tunes here. Then you go into four-star Iron Mutt. And then you start going into the format of a one-on-one -on -one with that event tune. Then two-on-two, three-on-three, four-on-four, so on and so forth. There is a lot of battles here. So, um, I guess kind of on the bright side of that once you clear all the battles and you just do auto wins for the event currency uh, that you can use in the event exchange so it's okay it's all right um i'll give my grade on this uh at the end of the video but i think it's okay if we take a look at the quests and everything that we have here uh right here boom event quests they're pretty basic i mean it's not I mean, they're not asking you to do any crazy stuff, right? So it's just things that you would normally do during the event anyway that just works. They have this whole thing of cyclical events that were uh, that were happening for a while as far as quests that you needed to complete. That one quest bu built on another and so on and so forth. And that was really good. That, unfortunately, um, I haven't seen in a while. But we're collecting feature tunes. Um, the gold quest here is just spending gold. So that was pretty easy. Completing different quests there. Um, the... The rewards here, so this is what I talk about with the secret stuff. We get a little bit here. We get what, three, four, five, six, seven that I can see. There may be more as I complete some of these some of these quests here, but we just don't get a ton. And then when you go into up here and you take a look at the tournament, the tournament, um, we go into here, um, you're gaining points by collecting iron collars, iron bones, and different tune pieces for Treasure Hunter, Tweety, and Iron Mutt. You're working through these milestone rewards and i mean the rewards are okay they're decent i mean they're not fantastic but they're not giving away the farm either so you get all the way up to 250,000 points you can clear it. i'd be interested if a free-to-play player to see if a free-to-play player can clear all this um i put quite a bit into it and i'm actually pretty low i haven't spent any money on it i um, doing this completely free to play and uh, this is where i am right now on it so it's okay that's all right. We do have the wheel. So if we go ahead and take a look at the wheel, we do have this. We'll take a look at exchanges here in just a second. We have the bone wheel, uh, which we do have some secret stuff there. If we take a look at the odds, so we it's a 2% chance for Iron Mutt. For secret stuff, it's a 13% chance for at least 100. 
that's that's relatively high. Um, we, well, compared to kind of the percentages and stuff that we see, but the 13% there, 13% here, but most of what you're gonna get 68% of the time, um, you're gonna get iron mutt pieces. And for me, again, I can't remember if I said it at the beginning of this video or not, this encore, I wouldn't really go all in on because these two tunes, although Treasure Hunter Tweety is fun, I focus, again, I focus on which tunes are required for PTLs, and then which tunes are required for those structured teams, the top 10 best teams in the game. So that's kind of how I, I gauge that. So we do have that. Uh, so And then 4% of the time to get fine vials. We do need more sources for fine vials and secret stuff, definitely, because it's pretty expensive, again, to level up and tune up your tunes. All right, so we do have that. We also have uh, the caller one right here. So this is where you get your callers. One spin is five callers. 50, 50 colors. I don't know how you're going to get 50 colors in here other than spending it, but you do. Um, you'll get an unlock here. Minimum of 100. You need 300 to unlock him if you don't have him unlocked. Um, a what is it? 500. Minimum of 500 for the jackpot, and it's a 2% chance there. So interesting. All right. So we have that. That's that's what we have for the wheels. Let's go take a look at the event exchange here real quick. We go in here. And then this is what we have. Uh, you have right, right here, uh, legendary tokens. So I can do this twice. So you spend 15,000 of your bones to get 10 collars. So that's going to give you two spins. Um, you can do uh, one, a one for one here to get these resources. It's a chance at a legendary. If we take a look at this, what's the chance? The chance is a 2% chance. So your typical jackpot, um, as well as getting some of these materials here. But then if you want to take a look at the tunes and things that you want, you have featured epic epic tunes here. You have city rares here. Um, you have a 50-50% chance to get one of these, a minimum of 75 using 300 bones. It's all RNG. I'm, I'm not an RNG fan. I liked, I liked having the options in the previous events, in the previous regional events. That's what made them so good because you had a lot of flexibility in where you wanted to spend your event exchange resources so you can get what you want. So right here, um, I think it's better than what we had previously as far as in between the really good regional event and now. Uh, but there is a lot of places get a lot of resources in your superior dynamite, stuff like that. Really, um, in my opinion, you just really want to use your bones for the tune pieces that you want. If you want to try your chance at the collars, go for that. I mean, if you don't have Treasure Hunter Tweety, that gets you two spins. Um, hopefully that gets you enough to unlock. So um, that's the event exchange. It's okay. It's okay. So I, you know, if I'm going to give this some sort of a rating, um, for me, this event is just kind of so-so. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to give it like a three out of five. It's okay. It's not horrible. Uh, it's better than what we had, but um, not as good as what we had before that. So I'm very interested in your thoughts. What do you think of this? It's decent. Overall, it's decent, uh, but very interested in your thoughts. What do you think? What do you think of the rewards? Just make sure to get the feedback to the developers so they can fine tune it and make it a good event. Maybe we can get it up to a four. I don't think we'll get it to a five out of five unless they give us choice. This would be a five out of five if they gave us choice rather than RNG. So um, even in its current form, I'd probably give it, nah, I'd probably give it a four out of five in its current form. And if we had choice, we need some more secret stuff. We need some more fine vials. Those are the types of things that we need for our tune-ups. And then if we had a decent amount of those and the choice, then yes, then yes, we'd be a five out of five. All right, everybody. That's what I had for you. Again, very interested in your thoughts. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. And we'll talk to you next time.